I've been playing guitar since I was 10. I decided when I was younger that I wanted to sing, but when I was eight and the Spice Girls came out, or nine or 10 or whatever, I was like singing with the Spice Girls and I was like, you know what, screw the Spice Girls. I was like, I want to write my own music. Was I just a victim of your sacrilegious idolize and those ties? I'm pretty stubborn and so I should probably get lessons, but I refuse to. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm all about being self-taught and just you know, doing it yourself, so. But I, I've realized now that maybe lessons would probably be a good idea. We'll figure that out. Probably in another like year or two, I'll be like, all right, all right, I'll go get lessons. You can always learn more. It's a lot of imagination when it comes to my lyrics. A lot of the times, it's funny though, a lot of the times I'll write the lyrics and then I'll be like, I have no idea where that came from and it just came out. And then like six months later it'll happen to me and I'll be like, yes, I can tell the future. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Shouldn't have given you the benefit of the As long as the audience feels some sort of connection with me, that's perfect. And if only one person walks away just being like, oh my god, your music is awesome. That's really all that I'm looking for is it, somebody to go, wow, no, I totally understand what you're talking about. Like, I got that. <laughs> like, that just happened to me five minutes ago, you know? I, I, want, I want that feeling. I want people to just be like, wow, I know exactly what you're talking about. That happened to me. And like, that's how I felt at one point in time. When I meet a people, person that doesn't know that like I, I sing or I sing, um, I want them to know like right away. Like I wish there was just like a stamp on my forehead that was like I make music, and I love music. Do you love music? Like I want to like do that to every person I ever meet because that's like the one thing that I think everyone should be a part of. So uh, yeah, if anything, it would be just like I, I really, really feel for music, and I hope you do too. I write a song and I'm like, I hate this song. <laughs> and then like two months later, I listen to it and I'm like, hey, that, that wasn't half bad. Round two is actually one of those. I worked on that for like two months. I hated it at first. I thought it was the most dreadful song I've ever written in my whole entire life. You know, and then something about it kept me going. <laughs> I was like playing the song and after a while I was like, I get the hang of this song. Let me let me throw a little more Paulina in there and let's see what happens. So. When I first heard, especially round two, because I've never heard it with like a band or any type of music behind it, oh my gosh, I was, I literally got home and I was like, Facebook status, please come to my show. I was like, you guys have to hear this. It sounds so cool. It was huge and it was huge adrenaline for me and all the people there, it was cool. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was probably one of the best experiences I've had.
people to be like from middle school be like dude you remember that girl Paulina oh yeah dude she wrote that song you know or that's her you know I mean I really really hope that you know I, I can I can do that and become a singer-songwriter or even just a songwriter but I definitely want to influence the music industry and I want people to be like look back and be like yeah Paulina was an influential part of the music history you know and I really do want that in any way Thank you.